I have been informed repeatedly that a mass extinction event is not underway. If it were, I've been told, we would be in real trouble. Guess what? We're in real trouble. Edward O. Wilson, Pulitzer Prize-winning author and Harvard University professor, was called the Ant-Man because of his early research on ants and sociobiology. Later, he came to be known as the father of biodiversity due to his extensive scholarship on the topic of biological diversity. He died December 26, 2021, at the age of 92. By the time of his death, Wilson was among the most decorated biologists in planetary history. He was twice awarded the Pulitzer for nonfiction, and he was also awarded a Guggenheim Fellowship, the National Medal for Biological Sciences, the International Prize for Biology, the Eminent Ecologist Award, the Crawford Prize, commonly called the Nobel for topics not covered by the Nobel Prize, and many other noteworthy distinctions. As Wilson wrote on page 32 of his 1992 book, The Diversity of Life, quote, Humanity has initiated the sixth great extinction spasm, rushing to eternity a large fraction of our fellow species in a single generation, end quote. That's 30 years ago if you're keeping track. Wilson's scholarship and his activism continued throughout the remainder of his long life. A science alert dated January 18, 2022, introduced a peer-reviewed paper published the previous week. I'll get to the peer-reviewed paper shortly. The science alert is titled, The Sixth Mass Extinction Really Has Begun, Scientists Warn in Newly Published Study. Here's the lead. Quote, The signs of death are everywhere, if you look. For years, scientists have rung the alarm bell, warning that grave declines in animal biodiversity around the globe herald the onset of what will be Earth's sixth mass extinction, end quote. I've included links at GuyMcPherson.com to this paper and the others I'll mention in this video. Obviously, not everyone agrees that a mass extinction event is underway. The rampant denial is based on at least four factors. One, contemporary people are generally ignorant about science. Two, these people are not particularly bright. Three, people lie to themselves and others to enhance their own comfort. And four, vertebrate animals tend to receive more attention than other species in discussions about the ongoing loss of biodiversity. Notably, the esteemed International Union for Conservation of Nature, usually abbreviated as IUCN, has created a well-known red list of threatened species. This IUCN red list is heavily biased towards vertebrates. The final paragraph of the article in Science Alert reads thusly, quote, Biodiversity scientists may achieve some successes, and many of those species that will be lost from the wild can at least be preserved in museums for future generations to study at marvel at. End quote. Note the customary assumption that our species cannot possibly go extinct. A paper published the day after the piece in Science Alert at CTV News is titled, quote, We can't stop our planet's next mass extinction event, researchers say, end quote. This headline incorrectly refers to the mass extinction event as something that will occur in the future, as I've come to expect. In the lead paragraph, the article at CTV News correctly refers to the peer-reviewed paper in calling this an, quote, ongoing extinction event, end quote. A paragraph later, the article points out that, quote, that the damage has already been done, end quote. The peer-reviewed paper referenced by the Science Alert and CTV News was published in Biological Reviews on January 10th, 2022. Written by Robert H. Cowie and two other scholars, it is titled The Six Mass Extinction, Fact, Fiction, or Speculation. The abstract includes this information, quote, Although considerable evidence indicates that there is a biodiversity crisis of increasing extinctions and plummeting abundances, some do not accept that this amounts to a sixth mass extinction. Often they use the IUCN red list to support their stance, arguing that the rate of species lost does not differ from the background rate. However, the red list is heavily biased. Almost all birds and mammals, but only a minute fraction of invertebrates, have been evaluated against conservation criteria. Incorporating estimates of the true number of invertebrate extinctions leads to the conclusion that the rate vastly exceeds the background rate. Although considerable evidence indicates that there is a biodiversity crisis of increasing extinctions and plummeting abundances, some do not accept that this amounts to a six-mass extinction. 
often they use the IUCN red list to support their stance, arguing that the rate of species loss does not differ from the background rate. However, the red list is heavily biased. Almost all birds and mammals, but only a minute fraction of invertebrates have been evaluated against conservation criteria. Incorporating estimates of the true number of invertebrate extinctions leads to the conclusion that the rate vastly exceeds the background rate. End quote. As people following this channel know, we are in the midst of an insect apocalypse. As you also know, insects and other small, seemingly insignificant species are critically important for our continued well-being and survival. It's the smallest of organisms that pollinate plants, filter the water, break down biomass into soil, and generally make our lives worth living. If you think tiny organisms don't matter to your health and happiness, just try upsetting the balance of bacteria in your stomach. You can get back to me when you're no longer sitting on a toilet. The background extinction rate is commonly accepted to be one or fewer species going extinct per million species on Earth each year. One in a million, that's the background rate. Our collective human actions currently underlie extinction rates of about a thousand times the background rate. The rate of extinctions is forecast to increase profoundly in the near future. I know zero knowledgeable people who believe we can reduce this number anytime soon. We're in trouble. We're in real trouble. Thanks for watching, subscribing, and liking this, this channel. If you subscribe, please click the bells so that you will be notified about future videos. Feel free to share this video, become a member of this channel for additional perks at as little as 99 cents per month. Mostly though, thanks for watching.